Hey guys, Mound with another stamp video. Um, as you can tell, we're going to do another What's in the Box video. Hopefully we can find some valuable stamps. Um, but before that, I got something to show you guys. Yeah, that's my intro. Spent a little time on it last night. Um, I felt like I needed to get one because um, I feel like that is what this channel needs is an intro and something, you know, that can kind of get the videos going and not just me talking. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you didn't, um, you won't hurt my feelings if you tell me it needs work. I know that. I'm not good at editing. It is what it is. All right, I'm talking too much. Let's get into this. We'll take this much here. Put them right there. And we'll get moving here. Um, and like I said, I do have um, some better tweezers coming. Uh, Chile. So don't get mad at me yet. Pretty old Jamaican one right here. Pretty good. Nice. Let's see what we got down here. This one is from Japan. I'm pretty sure that's what these guys are. Got it. Some interesting colored ones down here pretty soon too. OB. Oops. I'll pick that one up later. Egypt. The Sphinx. I've actually gotten a little bit more into the overprints now since one of my videos um, someone commented let me know that the overprints can be worth a lot of money so I'm actually sorry to look at those trades and settlements um, and I went through my I'm going through my Germany collection getting it in my safe album and I have found some absolutely stunning um, overprints that I'm going to show you guys at some point but that might be a good one to do right there four pence I'm assuming that's from Great Britain. Um, but they're just some really well-known cities. Um, España, Spain, um, with probably some really awesome history with the time period. Some of them have the dates stamped on them and everything. So Portugal, really looking forward to showing you guys that. Um, but I am going to finish my save album first. Japan. Here's an early Cylon. You can't even see how much that's worth. The mark. And the last one right here. Whoop. Nice. Nice Canada. Right there. Alright, well, I didn't get a ton of good ones. We're probably going to do... The Cylon, uh, where was that really old one? This one right here. Um, and I might just go get one of the overprints that I found that I think are really cool. And we'll show you one of the overprints I have in mind. Um, but yeah, I'll get the Scott Kylie -like parcels for these guys and bring you back in. All right, and we're back and we did pretty well today, guys. So um, we'll just start with this stamp from Cylon. Um, it is 15 cents. It was printed between 1886 and 1900 and is only worth $1.50. Um, but guys, we found another really expensive stamp from Great Britain. Um, you guys remember this one? Um, it was printed between 1896 and 1880. It's worth $4.50 to $15,000 because it's plate 17. As you can see the 17 there. Um, it's all based on the color. I think this one isn't the $15,000 one. Um, I am going to get a cent in. It does have some damage, which is unfortunate, but still is a super, super rare stamp. Um, now this one, I've already written it up here, printed between uh, 1855 and I think it was like 1860. Um, and it is worth $100 to $800. So super awesome. We found a really good stamp today. Um, and I just put it in the same um, you know, stock card as this one just because I like to keep these stamps together, the ones I'm going to send in. So I'll send both these guys in because I think they were sending in. I will do a video on that in the future. I mean, I told you I'd bring one of my Germany overprints that I really like, and I did, and it's this guy. Um, as you guys can tell, 
it is a double overprint. Um, this is super rare. Um, I got this just in a lot and it was in there. Um, I know these are counterfeited, so if you have any input into that, let me know. Um, but this is super exciting. This is one of my favorite overprints just because it's a mistake. There aren't many of these out there. Um, but yeah, guys, um, hope you enjoyed watching this video. I um, really appreciate you guys. Um, again, thanks for watching.